Among all diseases, rare diseases deserve special attention. Because despite what one might think, rare disease patients are numerous. Pour vous donner un exemple, en Europe, il constitue 30 millions de personnes. Rare diseases are rare. You cannot stay alone dealing with such a rare problem. Then you have to share and to look for some other people who can help you or with whom you can work together. Le malattie ci dimostrano che non esistono confini. Perciò per rispondere in maniera determinata e determinante rispetto a queste malattie è opportuno che nasca un'alleanza forte, senza confini, che parli un'unica lingua e che dia una risposta definitiva a tutte le malattie rare. Hence the idea of an international research consortium initiated by the European Commission and the United States National Institutes of Health. We have a long tradition at NIH and with the European Commission of international cooperation on genomic projects. A world leader in funding collaborative health research, the European Union has been fostering international cooperation for decades. Ruxandra Dragia Akli, a director at the European Commission, saw a new opportunity to team up with partners from around the world to fight rare diseases. It was in a discussion with Francis Collins that took place uh, in May of 2010. He was intrigued, uh, and as a consequence, by October, we had our Reykjavik meeting, participating there, funding agencies, small and large uh, industry, uh, charities, and patient organizations, very importantly. I think what the European Commission has achieved with its initiative in rare diseases is to re-energize the field of research. They have given a clear vision of what should be achieved. 200 new therapies and uh, a diagnostic modality for most rare diseases by 2020. Quite an accomplishment. It's ambitious and I like that. Uh, this is very important to uh, act internationally, especially in a project like this, because we can set common data policies, we can make sure that there is transparency about different policies that we have, and we can also share lessons learned about technology and about analysis methods. Working in the consortium with people from the government, with patient organizations, with other people from other groups and, and, and other uh, pharmaceutical and biotech companies will help us to advance more rapidly and in a more smooth way. It's an important initiative to raise awareness, uh, to raise funds, to raise energies, but most importantly uh, to make sure that these energies uh, will be put in place to serve the best interest of the stakeholders, which uh, ultimately are the patients. I expect the consortium not only to develop the drugs and diagnostics that it says it will, but also to make more efficient the model of drug development, because right now it's very inefficient and costly and we need something new. My expectations for the new consortium is to break down the barriers and the walls that exist from one country to another that are preventing valuable research by wonderful gifted people that is, exists but is not being available to everyone. Everybody who is involved in this process has an important role and everybody will benefit by cooperation and collaboration.